Hi, welcome to our next section of Angular Automation with Protractor, TypeScript, and Cucumber course. And in this video, we're talking about working with Cucumber reporting. So as you can see, it's an extended section when compared to the previous sections where we were discussing some of the features of Angular Automation along with Protractor, TypeScript, and Cucumber with Jasmine. And from this section onwards, we are going to talk about some of the advanced concepts or some of the basic concepts which we have not discussed in our previous sections. So in this section, we are going to exclusively talk about the Cucumber reporting. So let's get started. Cucumber HTML reports. So the Cucumber HTML report provides a Cucumber JSON report file created from your framework and this module will create a pretty HTML report. So if you have previous experience with Cucumber, there are different kinds of Cucumber reporting systems like HTML reports, JSON reports, XML reports, something like that. And we are going to create an HTML report this time to showcase how the report is going to look like. So the installation of the Cucumber HTML report is going to be something like this. We have to install an npm package using npm install Cucumber HTML reporter hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev for installing it as a dev dependency. So this is the very basic simple installation of the Cucumber HTML reporter that we need to do in our existing project. And once it is done, the basic process of performing the Cucumber reporting is very, very simple. All we have to do is write a pseudo code of how we're going to do that. Basically, the first thing we need to do is to save our, what is called as a JSON file as well as the HTML file. So we need to create a JSON file directory as well as the file itself. So we need to first do that operation. And then we need to create what is called as a Cucumber options. So this Cucumber options is used for the Cucumber reporting system itself. So basically this is a Cucumber reporting options, which we need to use or create for our Cucumber report that we're going to create. So some of the options, for example, are like themes or JSON file we're going to use for the input of the HTML file and uh, metadata of the Cucumber reporting option. So all these things are going to be the options that we need to create before we create the report itself. And then we're going to generate the JSON report with the Cucumber options. So from the sub two, we are going to generate the JSON report. And finally, we need to register it with the Cucumber listener so that we can integrate our scenarios and step definition with this particular JSON file. So this is the very, very simple pseudocode that we have to create while start creating the report itself. Well, if you ask what is these pseudocodes, how to work with them, don't worry about it yet because this is just a pseudocode of how we're going to do. This is basically a rough idea of how the reporting system we're going to create. In our next video onwards, we are going to start working with these pseudocodes in much detail and much granular level to understand how things work. Finally, our report is going to look something like this. As you can see, we will have a Cucumber JS report with the name of the application we are working on, which is nothing but the EA course app. And you can see how many number of tests has got passed and how many number of tests has got failed. Basically here, everything is scenario and that's why it has shown the failure as well as the past count over there. And you can see that there is a pie chart which shows like how many tests got passed and how many tests got failed. And there is a metadata. I have not expanded that yet. Basically the metadata will have something like app versions, test environments, browsers, platforms, etc. So these are the metadata that we can specify in there. And then there is some features. So this feature is going to look something like this. You can see the feature is to work with the home page. And within this feature, you have two different scenarios. It also has the tag like regression. And it also shows that how many steps got executed and how many got passed in there and how many of them got failed. And similarly, there is a second scenario coming in along with the next card within the particular feature. So this is really, really cool. As you can see, the reporting system is pretty nice and also much pleasing. So let's start installing the Cucumber HTML reporting in our existing project and then see how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. So this is the same project which we are working till our existing section. And now I am going to start working with the extended section, which is nothing but working with the reporting itself. 
right? So I'm gonna hop over to the terminal and once again, I'm gonna install what is called as the Cucumber HTML reporter. So for doing that, the very, very simple option is you can just type this npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and there is what is called as cucumber html reporter and then hit enter so this will install the cucumber html reporter for you in the npm module or the node modules as you can see it has installed the version 2 in our node modules here so let me refresh this and if you come over here we can see that we have the cucumber html reporter there right so everything is available right now from our next video onwards we can start working with the pseudocode that we discussed in our slide thank you